But beware of a new round of robocalls aimed at suppressing the vote. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel says the, they've been targeting people in Flint. The calls claim people should vote tomorrow due to long lines. Nessel says that is not true. The calls do not appear to be having an impact at the polls. We have been uh, out at uh, polling places all day long, and there have been some issues popping up here and there. 7 Action News reporter Andrea Isom live in Southfield. Uh, Andrea, what have you uh, seen so far today? Well, you guys, like everyone around here knows that the polls open this morning, and people emailing the station about the problems they were seeing at the polls just a few minutes right after that. As you well know, no election day is perfect. Most are coupled with hiccups, problems at the polls. So when we got wind of them, we went to see for ourselves. First stop, a precinct in Pontiac. I was number seven. The first lady in District 8, bless her heart, she t forgot to take off the perforated part and broke the machine. So District 8 has got a long wait. Well, that problem was swiftly solved and voting resumed, leaving citizens satisfied with that and then some. They were really informative. They told us what was going on. They tried to get the line moving a little bit quicker. For our next location, to Beaumont Elementary School, we went in Waterford, where we did encounter a situation. The first 30 folks voted, but their ballots could not be counted. One of the poll workers said the confusion all boiled down to a training issue, but all of the volunteers were quickly brought up to speed. And each of those voters were promised that their vote will be counted when the polls close. So from there, we were off to Southfield, where we met Miss Sophia. I got here at 9 a.m. this morning, and I sat in that parking lot until 12.55 because they didn't have a machine here for me to use to vote as a disabled person. The city did offer her alternate options, but they were not what Miss Sophia was used to. And this day was too important for her, she says, for anything to go wrong. I shouldn't have to wait five hours, five and a half hours to be in fact, to be able to vote. Although she is still grateful to exercise her right and use her voice nonetheless. So yes, there have been issues, but there has also been enthusiasm that cannot be curbed. I've never seen a line here ever. So yay, people are voting, yay. Absolutely. Look, it is your vote, it is your voice, and it is still time to use it. So please do. Reporting live in Southfield tonight, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News. Yes, indeed.